In question five, we're asked to prove that the given quadratic um, having no real roots has a range of potential values of 3k squared minus 2k minus 16 greater than zero. Uh, so in the first instance, we need to uh, label our quadratic's coefficients a, b, and c. And for no real roots, we know that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Substituting in, we get uh, 8 squared minus 4 lots of 3k minus 2 multiplied by k has to be less than 0. Uh, expanding, we get 64 minus 4 times 3k times k is 12k squared. And minus 4 times k times minus 2 is plus 8k, all less than 0. Uh, rearranging, making 12k positive, we get 12k squared minus 8k minus 64 is greater than 0. Not quite what we're looking for, but all the coefficients are factors of 4. So we divide through by 4, giving us 3k squared minus 2k minus 16 is greater than 0. What we're asked to prove. In the second part of this question, we're then asked to find the range of values of k. Um, now, usually this would go into two brackets, but um, in this instance it doesn't. So we need to use the formula. So k is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Substituting in, we get minus minus 2, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared, which is 4, uh, minus three, uh, 4ac, so 4 times 3 times minus 16, all over 2a, 2 3s being 6. Simplifying the root, we get 2 plus or minus the root of 196 over 6. Uh, luckily, the root of 196 is in fact 14. So we're going to generate two values of k, uh, the first one being 2 plus 14 over 6, which is 16 over 6, which is 8 thirds. The second value being 2 minus 14 over 6, which is minus 12 over 6, which is minus 2. Um, the range of values, well, the quadratic we were given is actually a positive, and it cuts the x-axis at uh, minus 2 and 8 over 3. And we want all values greater than 0, which would be these parts here. So k can be less than minus 2 or greater than 8 over 3.